the what the hell factor. This was interesting. I was listening to an audiobook this morning, and they were talking about some researchers, some psychologists who identified, I guess, quite a while ago, the what the hell factor. Boy, do I fall into this one. Here's how it goes. You're beating yourself up. You're on a diet. You're using self-hate and, and admonishing yourself and being disappointed in yourself. Well, the what the hell factor is you're trying to eat healthy. Let's not even say losing weight. You're trying to eat healthy. You're trying to get more fit. You're trying to feel better about yourself. Well, the what the hell factor is you're at a party and there's a piece of cake. And you decide to eat that piece of cake. And it's really good. But once you eat the piece of cake, that's when the self-hate comes in. That's when you start saying, oh, my God, I failed again. I failed again. What am I going to do? Oh, well, today is ruined. I might as well have another piece of cake. And what the hell? Bring me a cocktail, too. It is so easy to do, and I have over the years done it many, many, many times myself. Well, what if rather than beating yourself up, there's a book called Atomic Habits, and he talks about these automatic habits. In this case, the habit would be to what's the next best thing you can do for yourself? Rather than saying, oh my God, I ruined the day, what is the next best choice you can make for you. Simple. Start with self-love. Don't think about the past. Just move on with the next best choice. So rather than having that second piece of cake, you make that conscious decision to make the next best choice for yourself. Doesn't that sound simple? I think it really could be. Give it a try. Give it a try. It doesn't hurt. Most of these things I throw out there, they're for you to try. Do they work for you? Maybe yes, maybe no. Just know there are tons of solutions out there and you will, you will find the ones that work for you. So until I talk to you tomorrow, may you move on, may you stay healthy, be happy, live with passion and purpose. Oh my God, that's, that's the key right there. Talk to you soon.